in this video I will be going over how to install, align, operate, and maintain the praying mantis high temperature reaction chamber. The praying mantis high temperature reaction chamber is used in conjunction with the praying mantis accessory for FTIR and UV vis diffuse reflectance spectroscopy. High temperature reaction chamber applications allow diffuse reflection spectroscopic measurements under controlled pressures and a wide range of temperatures. This makes diffuse reflectance a valuable tool for studying heterogeneous catalysts, gas-solid interactions, photochemical reactions, and oxidation mechanisms. This high temperature reaction chamber is well suited for performing such studies under carefully controlled temperatures and pressures. When you receive your high temperature reaction chamber, you will also receive the following items. A high temperature reaction chamber, also known as a HVC, a screen set, two each of three mesh sizes, a gas port cover, a HVC dome, a 564 inch hex L wrench, a 332nd inch hex wrench with a handle, a packing tool, an overflow tray, and a window wrench. The HVC is made of chemically resistant 316 stainless steel. Within the chamber is a temperature controlled sample stage with a sample cup. This stage incorporates a cartridge heater and a thermocouple. It is thermally isolated from the outer chamber wall. The HVC also has a water jacket that circulates ambient temperature fluid in order to maintain a safe temperature on the outer surface of the chamber and windows during high or low temperature operation. The reaction chamber has three gas ports for evacuating, pressurizing, or flowing gas through the sample. These ports are equipped with quarter inch VCO fittings. One of the ports leads directly under the sample cup, while the other two lead into the sides of the chamber. The chamber is enclosed with a dome with three windows, two for the spectrometer radiation to enter and exit the chamber, and the third for viewing, illuminating, or irradiating the sample. This enables the use of the reaction chambers for photochemical studies. For IR operation, the standard material for the observation window is UV quartz. For the other two windows, it is potassium bromide and zinc selenide. For a UV vis operation, the standard material for all three windows is UV quartz. If the windows are not already installed or need to be cleaned or changed, follow these steps. The observation window is the window that is located between the two semicircular indentations on the rim of the dome. Insert an O-ring in one of the window ports. The technician used metal tweezers here, but to be safe, you use plastic tweezers to avoid damaging the O-rings. Hold the retaining ring upside down and place a PTFE washer inside. Then carefully place a window on top of the PTFE washer. Hold the retaining ring so that it continues to retain the window and thread it into the window port. Tighten to secure the window in place using the tool provided for tightening and loosening the retaining rings. Although it is not necessary to install the dome until later, it is recommended to become familiar with the procedure before proceeding to the next step. Prior to installation of the dome, make sure that the o-ring and the groove on the bottom of the dome are clean and free of dust. Make sure to also clean the mating surface where the dome sits on the HVC. Retract the retaining plates on the HVC as far as possible. Install the dome, making sure that the orientation slot on the dome engages the orientation pin on the HVC. Slide the retaining plates all the way over the rim of the dome. Tighten the retaining plate screws to secure the dome. Before installing the HVC in the praying mantis, make sure that the praying mantis is aligned in the spectrometer. Unscrew the thumb screw on the top plate of the praying mantis. Carefully swing the top plate out of the way. Grasp the sample stage and unscrew its mounting screw. Locate the mounting pins on the side of the HVC in the pinholes where the sample stage was located. Reinstall and tighten the sample stage mounting screw. If temperature control is desired, connect the thermocouple and the heater to a suitable temperature controller. 
if the HVC is to be operated at temperatures above 100 degrees Celsius, use quarter inch tubing to connect the two cooling ports to a water inlet outlet or a coolant circulator. If vacuum is needed, connect the gas outlet to a vacuum pump or other source of vacuum using vacuum tubing with a 3 8 inch inside diameter. Seal off the two gas inlet outlet ports. If reaction or process gas or gases are to be passed through the sample, connect the gas inlet outlet ports as needed to the gas source. Before putting the sample or background material into the sample cup, a screen or filter must be installed. Select the screen with a smaller pore size than the sample particle size as seen in this table, which is also in the manual. Place a sample screen or a ceramic filter into the sample cup and place the plastic overflow tray over the sample cup. Fill the sample cup with the reference material. Use the packing tool to level off the surface. Carefully remove the overflow tray. Install the dome on the HVC. Swing the praying mantis cover back into place and tighten the thumb screw. Set the temperature and pressure to the desired operating conditions. Set the spectrometer to measure the energy on the detector for IR operations. For UV vis spectrometers with a micro switch, with the spectrometer in percent %T mode, hold the micro switch to activate the detector. Adjust the height of the sample to maximize the signal on the detector. Collect the background spectrum. Restore the reference material to ambient conditions. Remove the dome. Empty the sample cup. If needed, clean the sample cup. Fill the sample cup with the sample. Install the dome. Install the HVC into the praying mantis if it was removed to empty the sample cup. Swing the top plate back into place and tighten the thumb screw. Restore the desired sampling conditions. Collect the sample spectrum. Empty the sample cup and clean it before running the next sample.